today I'm going to be doing an upgrade on a Power Mac G5 and a RAM capacity. This guy right now is 1.75 gigs of RAM. Strange amount, but he has two 512s, two 256s, and two 128 megs, so 1.75 gigs of RAM. In this stack of all the old RAM I have, mainly DDR2 and DDR, I have quite a few sticks of basically this right here. This is 512 megabytes of, I think, it takes, yeah, standard DDR PC3200 goes into this system right here, and it runs just fine. So let's go look at the RAM upgrade process. Let's go take the side panel off and look at the inside of this first. So, okay, to, um, to upgrade the RAM in here, you have to first take off the fan. I already took off the clear plastic piece. And in here, we see all eight RAM sticks, which everything but the very low-end ones had. These two sticks here, they actually have to go in pairs are both 128 meg sticks. I'm getting rid of these 128s because it's still small. And then I'm going to go look at all the RAM I have. So, here is my stack of RAM. You can see I have quite a bit of it I've just kind of accumulated and I'm looking for the stuff with the big chips. So like here is some of it, here I think is some Corsair stuff. I think most all of this has came from old salvaged systems I've just gone through. So before I dump them, you take all the RAM you can get. I think these are Pentium 4s, I want to say. All this stuff should work. I don't know how big this one is. This looks like the stack of compatible stuff. So I he apparently here have 4, 5, 6. This guy here. One way you can tell how big they are is by the number of chips. So the big guys have chips on both sides, the medium ones have chips on one side, the really small ones, like these 128s, only have four chips on them, unlike the big guys which have all of them. So we got a pair of Samsungs here, we got another pair of Samsungs, we got another individual Samsung, and we got a pair of Corsairs. Yeah, so it looks like we have seven. They all seem to be 512, so let's go put that in and just see what it says. Yeah, so these are all 512s. Oh, this guy, this guy I think is a 256 because it has a blank back versus the rest of these which have filled backs. So we're just going to put all of these in. This should be 3 gigs right here, plus the current, which we're going to get rid of the 256s. And then we should have 4 gigs in the system, which is quite a bit for this older system. So I'm going to go put that RAM in. Let's go reassemble, chuck in the fans. You have to put this fan in here now. You don't have to have the fan for it to boot, but if you put the fan in it, it's a little bit happier. And the plastic piece, which here's a little trick for the G5s. There's a, right here, you see this little piece of colored stuff? This is what tells it if the piece is in there. You can shove a piece of paper in there and it won't rev up all the fans if you don't have this plastic cover and if you ever need to do that. Now I'm going to go plug this into my little test bench right here. And we're going to see if she boots and how much RAM it has. It should have 4 gigs if I'm right. A lot of this RAM isn't labeled very well. So I guess we're going to kind of just find out. System's all plugged up. Ready to push the power button. Haven't done this off camera yet. So let's find out. Is it going to bong? There it goes. And is the display going to turn on? Yeah. Looks like it's trying. Uh, yeah, it's in. So let's fast forward this and see how much RAM it says it has in the activity monitor. It seems to be reporting 3 gigs of RAM. So let's take a look in System Profile and see what it says about what memory sticks we have in here. See if it left out a pair or something. So if we go under Memory, it says two of them are empty. Hmm. I know I have stuff in all the slots, so let's try reseeding it and see if that makes it happy. Unless that's PC2700, I don't know. I'm gonna try reseeding it. So those dims seem to be the Corsair ones which are rated for lower speed than the rest of them, so they don't seem to be happy. So I can either try putting the 256s in it, which I'm gonna try now and hopefully those work. Because I moved the slots and now it's just undetected in another slot and says it's empty. So we're gonna try putting 256s in it and see if we can get at least 3.5 gigs for now. Finally got it to work now, it has 3.5 whole gigs with the 256s. Palomozilla is PC2700 instead of PC3200. 
and it somehow sets the speed to the 3200 speed instead of 2700 speed. I don't know how it determines this, but it works now. So, thanks for watching this quick little upgrade video on the G5. There might be more to come on it. I might try to get it to work with this SSD. Come on, auto exposure. Um, I was trying it earlier and it just wasn't showing up at all, so I might dork with it and see if there's some setting I'm missing or something. Because it's working with this hard drive, but not with this SSD. But that's kind of the quick little video for now, so thanks for watching. Bye.